This whole fucking show is a goddamn satire, a joke. If you take anything serious here, I ain't forcing you to listen, motherfucker. Seth, you got anything to say? We're both playing characters. Yeah, if you don't like anything I say in here, uh, click off now. If you do like everything I say here, send me money. I mean, it's simple. I did? Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, what? All right. So, this is episode one of the insert name here. We haven't really come up with the name, I don't think, um, yet, of yep. the podcast. Did we? Anyway, my name is Kodota. You can call me Dakota. Uh, and this is... Um, Who, I? Me? Yeah. I'm Seth. It's Seth Horvath, if yep. you will. Mr. Balloons, the former, the latter. Okay. Last um, name, you're Baylog. Yeah, way to dox me on camera. That's cool. So we were just, you know, we were just thinking about making a fucking podcast. And I was like, oh, dude, let's make a podcast. Um, yeah, we should tell more about ourselves. I'm 20 years old. I'm in college. <laughs> uh, he, he wears glasses so you can tell he sucks dicks. <laughs> yeah, I'm in college. I'm about to get my first degree. <laughs> His first fucking degree, um, dude. Dakota's <laughs> been working at McDonald's instead of going to college. <laughs> I work at Cab- <laughs> I'll probably get fired for like mentioning the name. Yeah. Um. Well, no. I mean, I make music, so. so are you twenty one? Are you still twenty? No, I'm twenty. Gonna... I'm still twenty. I turn twenty one soon. August. Yeah, yeah twenty one in August. August sixteenth, right? Why do you remember that? Why the fuck do you remember my birthday? You fucking <laughs> yeah, weird. You got your last name Obsessed. and birthday out there. Yeah, that's cool. My Good. social security. What the fuck was? That? <laughs> <laughs> so we're 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 coming to you live from. Uh, well, this is pre-recorded, so it's not live. From uh, Ida, um, it's Ida, a big Michigan. city. Yeah, yeah, it's like Detroit sized, give or take a few. Um, yeah, we're a couple of Michigan boys. A couple of boys of Michigan. We both have Hungarian nationality or Did ethnicity. Really? I thought you were like, yeah. I thought Horvath, you were like you're Jew. Horvath, it's you're like a <laughs> Jewish Hungarian. It's like a Hungarian. Was Jew. it the potato famine? Was that what sent you over here? Yeah, that was what my, my family we were like and starving. Is Balog the a Hungarian thing? Yeah, right? I think I don't know. Okay. I, it was like a like my grandpa's grandparents like, or maybe it was my grandpa's like parents came oh, off the ship. Gay. This is gay, dude. This is fuck you. <laughs> you fucking brought it up. Hey, can I take off you my socks? It up. You want? <laughs> I mean, it's a free country. Yeah. I, so basically, this podcast. Can I, like, is this? Can you really put take your socks? Is off? it clean enough? Is the floor clean know, enough? It's, it's crusty, but it's. I'm Fine. not going to get Just anything. Take the fucking socks off. Okay. Anyway, so like, we thought, you know, in today's society with uh, with the PC culture, with the liberal uh, regime, if you will, being yeah. the way it is, God, nasty, fucking disgusting creature. He's got hobbit feet. <laughs> the amount of fucking hair. I could donate it to a chemo. Yeah, the liberal chemo. people, says the person who voted for Hillary <laughs> I Clinton. Could, I could donate. I didn't vote for her. I could donate your fucking hair, your foot hair. To a chemotherapy patient. Oh man, I oh, feel the athlete's foot from this <laughs> nasty fucking, floor. He's got already. so much fucking. Anyway, no, I didn't. I didn't vote for. I voted for Jill Stein. Okay. Oh yeah. I, I thought you were gonna vote, vote for away. Bernie, dude. He didn't. I, he didn't make like the what primaries Why is that? or whatever. I don't know. Cause Cause he's gay. I think Trump even said quote unquote because the system is like rigged. Yeah. So like, that's why fake news, man. Fake yeah. news I got voted Bernie out for Gary Johnson. Did you really? No. Yeah, you voted for Donald Trump. Yes. So, <laughs> so if if the world catches fire, hey, one thing I realized is we don't know exactly what time, because it's measured in bars. It's measured okay. in, in measures and bars. I guess I'll have so to go on my phone again. You gotta get off your fucking phone. I'm gonna set a timer on my phone. So this is just asshole. <laughs> I. <laughs> All right. So wait, I have the Snapchat. Uh, we, we were talking about, like, the fucking name, figuring out the name for this shit, and I saved it in Snapchat, the conversation, just because we had some of the names that I liked. One was uh, Basement Boys, I think. I like alliteration. Um, one was a Basement Boys. What's alliteration? Alliteration? Is that when it's, like, like the same two sound? Two B's, two B's, yeah, two like, A's. like, big, 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 bodacious. Okay. Big. <laughs> big, <laughs> good big okay so what there was pod this peckers. is actually a down syndrome podcast <laughs> down syndrome awareness please when we start a patreon just donate your chromosomes we need as many <laughs> uh, <laughs> need as many no you have a uh, ida boys basement boys 
Ida was going to be I D U H. I do. Yeah, Ida is usually I D A for all the uh, people who don't know how to spell Ida out there. There's Basement Boys, which I admired the alliteration from that. That was actually my my favorite one, but we're actually recording from an attic right now, so that's not good. We got Pod Peckers. <laughs> another another alliteration that's just beautiful. Midwest stress. You're so fucking gay. Well, yeah, <laughs> You're dude. You're so fucking gay. Because I'm stressed out in the Midwest. Midwest stress. I'm stressed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking gay. Oh, uh, then he's got a few N words that he dropped. Hard R N words. <laughs> <laughs> really? Um. Yeah. So what do we stop clicking on that photo? Just keep scrolling. <laughs> fucking idiot. So we got we got the um. What was the actual one? What is it? Yeah, you have to check. <laughs> I don't actually remember. It's corn. It's corn cast. Corn cast. We're going to call it the corn cast. Probably without the the. Just corn cast. Um, Wait, did we just come up with that right now? Okay, we're going to be like... <laughs> we had to be legit, though. Like We can't we actually... Just, we per- just came up we're with We're not actors. Name. Despite the, despite the uh, disclaimer, we're not playing characters. You know, this is us. This is who we are. No, we, we are. We don't like anyone... This is satire. <laughs> Satire is our shield. Please don't get me fired. Don't get me fired from, uh, where do you work? Papa John's? <laughs> yep. Papa yeah. John's. Anyway, so, um, Midwest stress. All right. It's actually hard to say. Uh. It's like a fucking. We went to the same school. We went to the same right? school. You never Ida, went anywhere high else? School. Huh? Did you go anywhere else from Ida? I went to Bliss, like, Blissfield uh, for, what, in okay. second grade or something? You molested there or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, hey, remember that time? Me and Dakota mm-hmm. actually met met in like the sixth grade because Dakota called me gay in the sixth grade. Is this why you hated me? And then I he just, bullied. Me. I bullied the shit if out of him. If there was ever for... a time anyone was gonna shoot up a school, is me. <laughs> it's me because I was bullied. I bullied Literally. the shit out of him for until like eighth grade <laughs> when he. I only stopped because he had a flip phone, and then I was shut con- the fuck up. That is not why. I was is it? no. You had a flip phone. Okay, Ooh, and I was me? following you around outside. Wait, what? Um, no, oh no, 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 during no. during lunch, like during our recess, and I was like, "Dude, you're so fucking gay. You're a faggot. Kill yourself." I was just saying all this stuff. Yeah, I usually do. And then you're like, "I just recorded that all." And I'm no, like, uh, yeah. I remember saying no. I remember actually recording. Then that. I tried grabbing your phone, and then you like clamped it. Yeah, but why it. the fuck are you my friend still? You and think then, I still have the recording. And then, <laughs> no, it was like blackmail. You're like. If you don't start being nice to me, I'm oh gonna... no, no, uh, <laughs> you don't know the fucking quotes. No, okay, so it was like, basically blackmail no, no, for no, me to be your friend. No bullshit, because I just fucking bullied you so hard. Bullshit. I remember why it was. Okay, no. So it for like two years, from like sixth to eighth grade. Okay, this is my story. My my half the story. <laughs> Asshole with your nasty fucking feet rubbing on my carpet. Faggot. <laughs> fucking faggot. Anyway. No, so what I got from it was, like, Seth is an asshole piece of shit for two fucking years, and it's fine, because he's a little fucking queer. I hung out with all the cool cats, and he was a little fucking queer. <laughs> cool cats? That's why you got bullied, because you just said cool cats. That's why you need to get bullied. <laughs> That's why you are going to get bullied. <laughs> this, this whole podcast is just to bully me. It's an elaborate <laughs> It's going to be. Anyway, you fucking when, uh, prick. Stop. Shout out to Joey Ferrara when he comes on here. Go fucker. We're going <laughs> to... You're going to meme gonna... me? Yeah, anyway, no. team you. So what happened was, Seth had finally gotten his dick licked by this nasty... She was a goat. She was a goat. She had milky tits, right? Yeah. Th- but everyone was making fun we of her. We are about 13. Everyone in our friend group, we are all savages. We all hated each other. We all we still don't like each other, right? And everyone was making fun of him, legit, like, destroying him. Poor kid, you know? And honestly, in hindsight, he was getting pussy and we weren't. So, like, I don't know what we were making fun of. But, like, I finally just, like, pulled him aside at, like, recess. And I was like, dude, I don't really care if you date her. Like, I, I accept your love. I think that was, like, an actual quote. Like, I accept your love. And, was... and and you're like, oh, you're not bad from there. And then you texted me on my flip phone, faggot. Yeah. But I was still kind of mean to you. And then I officially stopped when you said you had blackmail and you're going to show the principal. I would Which, never. The one day I did have to go to the principal's office. Because was it because of me? I drew dicks in <laughs> all over your uh, planner, <laughs> and I said that you're gay <laughs> on it, and I said I had sex with your mom. Did you on your re- planner? Was that exactly? Yeah, like, and you then you showed like a teacher. I would never. I, I had to go in. To, I showed a teacher. Yeah, I deserve to get bullied because you just like, like you're just like, like Seth just did this, and then um, what teacher do you remember? 
I like, forget. What, what grade was this in? This Eighth is grade? sometime in middle school. I think it was seventh grade. I think it was. But in, then you, it took another whole year for you to like. I think it was in, <laughs> start like Mrs. Me. Raymond Ray. Oh yeah, she was a person. She had weird eyes, didn't she? Like really yeah. fucking weird looking eyes. She's like a raccoon. A raccoon woman. A raccoon. But because uh, I couldn't yeah. walk by you in that class, I think after that I had like a fucking I had I had like a restraining a, order. <laughs> Restra- I said I remember that. And then you, I remember saying restraining order, and she like said, "Yeah, <laughs> she would have me pass out the." She's, Seth, pass out the homework, and I'd walk by your desk to pass you the homework, your... <laughs> and I would get yelled at for walking by your desk, uh, uh, That's fucking even though awesome. I had to pass shit out. <laughs> and another great story about, in is it Ray or Raymond? I don't know. Ramen noodle. I'm going to say ramen. In Mrs. Ramen's math class in seventh grade. Was it math? Are you sure? Me and this other kid, uh, Will... Sat, oh god, this, it must be lice. <laughs> sat by this girl named Hope. Oh god, don't do this. <laughs> that Dakota me. that Dakota had a huge crush on. She was and hot. She, she was hot. She was one of the popular girls, you know, and we're just, you know, the nasty rats. Okay, well I wouldn't go that. I was but, pretty um, cool. I was pretty cool. Me yeah. and Will just told her, we took her aside. <laughs> that was at lunch, right? No, it was, was it, it was in, in class. In math. Because we all sat together. There was like four of us at a table, right? They had four tables put together. Yeah, but you were sitting somewhere else because of like the restraining order. <laughs> Wait, is this this? The- <laughs> this is like after. So you weren't there. You were like across the classroom, and me and Will just were like, "Dude, Dakota talks about how he wants to rape you, uh, and he yeah. wants to molest you." And yeah. we were like dropping just rape. Just ruined it for We me. were dropping the word rape, and the rape word. Yeah. yeah and afterwards, <laughs> just, it was like she's like, "Oh my gosh, really?" Yeah, she like actually was friends with me before <laughs> that. Like she, we actually talked. Like she oh. might have felt bad or whatever, but like. <laughs> we actually talked. And you had, the closest I ever got to like you had that huge ass um pencil case and yeah. you know, Will unzipped it and then yeah. <laughs> cl- bell rang <laughs> and you took it and all your shit fell everywhere. Yeah. And then you killed yourself. Jesus. <laughs> Christ, man. Yeah, that's funny. Dude, I'm actually depressed. What the <laughs> fuck, you pricks? Yeah, but then we became friends. No, I friends. remember. Okay, no. Do you remember um that like uh it was like eighth grade. There was like a fucking no. um, Autismo class? I don't know what... With uh, Mrs. Crosby, right? Crosby. I think it was Cros- no, Crosby, like the fucking rooster-looking chick. The, I don't know. It was like a study hall where me and Will were in. And it was like okay. an extra study hall so we could actually do our fucking work, apparently. And we would just... I was in there with like a bunch of older kids and shit, too. Like, legit autistic class. Okay. And um, <laughs> I remember Will sat behind me. And he had like this huge fucking eraser, right? And he'd keep picking like the little pieces <laughs> off. And he would throw it at my head while I'm trying to like <laughs> while I'm trying to like live my life, right? Doing my homework or like listening to like talking to someone else. And every time I turn around pissed off, he'd be like, "It must be lice." And he'd say <laughs> it like that, dude. And it was all it was like constantly just throwing fucking every fucking day for like months, just throwing little fucking pieces of eraser at me. Like it must be lice. Like oh it my must god, be fucking lice. So then we graduated to high school, <laughs> oh. and it didn't get much better. It got worse. Well, <laughs> the moral of the the moral of the story is through blackmail. Uh, <laughs> Anything is possible. Because he's things... Dakota was so pathetic, he had to get friends. Jesus through, Christ! <laughs> through blackmail. What the fuck? <laughs> Christ, dude. We found ourselves. I feel bad. At uh, our local YMCA swimming, and I remember. What? We never we, went to YMCA. No, we went to the swimming. YMCA. And yeah, we hanging swam. out. We hung out, but and like, then it we, wasn't. We were saying like, "Oh my God, can you believe like we're actually like hanging out like this?" I don't like, remember any of this. We Set. said that because it was like two years ago. You fucking hated me, dude, and now we're. Was it legit because yeah. I called you gay? I think so because you called me. gay. I called you gay once, and for fucking two years you obsessed over it. Well, if anything that t- t- says like, something about you. Freshman year, uh, I'll call him out. Jacob Bashton. Oh God. That um, kid, he's still alive? He has a colic, don't he? He, yeah. <laughs> or should I say Alan? Alan. What, Jacob's did he change true, his name? Jacob's true name, Alan. Alan. He slapped me in oh, freshman what? year. Like, the first day of school. <laughs> I forget what I did or said to him. You, you probably deserved it, let's be honest. And he, he literally slapped me like he a girl. Probably fu- like a girl would slap <laughs> another girl. He fucking open palm slapped you. Yeah, he open palm slapped me. And ever yeah, since then, me. I just wanted to destroy his life. And ruin him. What the fuck is your problem? You're and I think I honestly did. And Jacob, if you're listening, I fucked all of your girlfriends. And <laughs> every every girlfriend, every wife you will have. <laughs> if you have a daughter, I will wait till she's 18. 
nah, before I have sex with her. He's not gonna. He's not gonna wait. He's on the podcast. And if wait, you have a son, I'm gonna wait turn till him he... gay. I'm gonna turn him gay. Yeah, I'll wait till he's about twelve, <laughs> and I'll turn him gay. What the fuck? Twelve. That's a good age. It's a good age to turn faggot. Yeah. Any. <laughs> so I don't know. That's like that's actually a good backstory, like a back and forth there. That's, I'm proud of that. Because people, a lot of people, even close to us, like, don't, like, Bobby, I feel like he doesn't know, like, our origin story, you well, know? Bobby used to make fun of me. I don't blame him. You are you were like a little halo faggot. <laughs> I still am, thank you. <laughs> you fucking, you and you sucking on his tits. Ben, if you're listening, I hope you fucking hang yourself, you blue-haired piece of shit. Jesus. I why, legit why would fucking you say that? fight me, you faggot. Oh, are we supposed to block that out? Fuck no. Yeah, Fuck no. I would. Are you fucking kidding That's me? We're gonna block necessary. that out. Cause fuck with you, Jacob, ben, it's more you fucking... with Jacob. It's more playful. When I make fun of Jacob, it's more playful. But when so you... we gotta keep it light. When you God make fun of people, it. it's like serious. Like you actually want to fight them. I mean, like part of me wants to actually kill Jacob. What but the... well, what's the difference? <laughs> part of me. Uh... Okay, haha. <laughs> I no, we'll just block all of that okay, out. Okay, fine. No, we're not gonna block. I'm just gonna block his name. I'm gonna. Out. We'll keep the back and forth. I'm gonna clap. So... And this is where we'll cut it. I'm gonna no, clap. no, don't actually clap. Don't do it. No. <laughs> Look at the. <laughs> Stop. I wanna, Stop fucking I wanna, doing that. Hold on. Hello. Okay, you fucking retard. Right. God damn. She's stupid as fuck. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I even get you? <laughs> my fingertips. Really? You know. You, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are they still like raw? Yeah, from fucking your bitch. <laughs> so Seth, no, I have a legit. I don't, no, I have a. Okay, okay, can we fucking can we get back to I, our our I, jobs, <laughs> our jobs yeah. here to entertain? Okay, they don't see us punching each other. It's not funny. Yeah. So anyway, um, uh, so like, back in Blissfield, right? Stop. <laughs> it's fucking loud, dude. People, I like can it. feel that. Like I can hear that. I get it's okay. ringing. Okay. No, back in Blissfield though, I remember. Do you remember Chad? Yeah. My mom's ex-boyfriend or whatever. Right, so I'm fucking... Chad. Yeah. It's like an asshole name. Like, yeah, Chad's an asshole. Where'd my fucking e-cig go? It's like an asshole name. So anyway, I walked in, right, one time, because he was bitching at me. He was bitching at me for something. And I walked in, and uh, I slapped him with a big red moisty, <laughs> wet dildo. Oh, thank you. You want to know the story behind that, no. audience? Let's cut so that Seth, out. So Seth... No, we're not no, fucking cutting it out. I don't even know if it even was one. I could have... <laughs> Seth. I don't even know if it was one. We're not cutting it out. I could have... We could cut out the Ben thing, but we're not cutting out the big red dildo. It could have been a pair of... So the story beats, is... Seth... Beats by Dr. 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 Dre. <laughs> Dr. Dre? <laughs> <laughs> it could have been... No. Uh, so like... Okay, so... Tube. Can I tell a story? Tube, can I tell a story? You want to tell a story? A, tell a story. A Red Bull? A cherry Red Bull? <laughs> no, it was a big red dildo. Your mom's red dildo. Freshly <laughs> used. Freshly used. More... <laughs> It was still moist. It had your 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 mother's uh, baby nectar on it, if you will. <laughs> All right. So, anything that new happened in your life, we're just gonna s- slide on over that. We're gonna skate. Slide in like the the red oh, dildo okay. that was in your mom's asshole. We're just gonna. <laughs> I really hope your parents like listen to this somehow. I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> we're not blocking that one out. You the first, homo. the first and last episode of Corncast. Of Corncast. So anyway, you're listening to currently. <laughs> look who, look who just accepted my my bro quest. Bro, what up, bro? So anyway, Seth just got four thousand views on a fucking slideshow of. Oh yeah. Literal like, like what? Well, explain your thought process. Your well, let's, creative let's outlet. Let's explain this. Dakota always yeah. wanted to be a YouTube star. Well, no, I want to be a rapper. And so did I. I want to be a rapper. Or famous in some sort of way. Yeah, I mean, YouTube just seems like the easiest thing. Both of us always had, like, channels we'd make videos on. He had his Green Frog and Purple Hippo (laughs) channels. Shut the fuck up. I had... It was was Justin Mills. It was... uh, Oh, what was my first one? Yes, I do believe so. Yes, I do believe so. There was... Justin Mills, and then... Jaw Drop. Jaw Drop. Kadota. And now it's Kadota. I was, like... What did you have? You had Connor Wakefield. You still have. I, still? I was Connor Wakefield, and then I did the program. Is he still? Like, is the actual Connor yeah, Wakefield? Alive? He commented on one of my posts, but I had. Oh, cool. Connor Shout Wakefield. Out to Connor Wakefield. The program, and then a new one, uh, SCTV, and 
I've, so, I've made a few burner uh, YouTubes in the past just to like dislike, add extra dislikes when I mass dislike people's videos. Are you videos. fucking kidding me? No, I'm not. You've done that. I've mass disliked. I videos. made fun of Howie for doing that to that one diss track that okay, I released no, there's about some, him. I got like 17 dislikes and no extra views from it. There's some faggot on my... Oh, is this a name we're not dropping? Do I know who it is? No. Just wink at me. No, it's some kid some named... Some fucking faggot. Fuck you, bitch. It's some kid fucking on my Facebook who fucking makes kid. really shitty music. and Your I music sucks dick, bitch. Get out of my fucking And level. it's not you. Oh, but... what? <laughs> oh, really? It's not me? No shit. I make but decent music? I am like mass really dislike don't. his videos because it's... I'll have to show you afterwards. Oh, God. Remind me. I don't even want to mention it on here. It's just so bad. It's... Yeah, well, fuck you, you little prick. If you want to fucking learn how to make music, Kay. subscribe to Kadota. Not That's funny. Capital K. Don't A-D-O-T-A. subscribe. A. Um. So anyway, explain. forget. So just stop I talking. put my heart and soul into trying to get good at okay. rapping. Whatever. And that's what music is. Is you know that's what I use my channel for, right? Yeah. I put a lot of fucking thought into it, and then Seth he puts you, like two thinks, two it. thinks, two full thinks into a video. Makes a slideshow of a bunch of faggots. Well, with no, their we need open. we need more context to this. For what? So. There, how much more can you get Do, into it? Whenever Dakota wants views, he can't get views on his own. He'll share it around, he'll get like 50 views. So he's always coming to me, begging, groveling. What? No, 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 no. I've never asked you. I haven't asked you to share it in forever. And crying for me to share it to no, my I... fans and my <laughs> my influence to get them views. And I've gotten him like 300. Shut the fuck up. You have 500. Not. Uh, no, you 10, haven't. 10,000. You've never gotten me 10,000 views. No, but I've gotten you a few hundred on videos that would have, like, 17. Shut the fuck up! And I've helped him record. Shut up, faggot. He always comes to me for advice because, um... Okay, you're really fucking tooting your fucking horn here. <laughs> so, basically, he's like... No. Um, Why is he doing this to me on camera? I'm trying to on, think on what's audio. a good anal- analogy to this. I'm basically the sun and he's the moon, you know? What? I might, thought you were going to say, I'm might, the son and you're the father. He might what are you, you eclipse me once in a while, but I, I'm, I'm always rising up in the morning, dude. And I'll always be there the next day. <laughs> Dakota, you only see him like for a week, a month, maybe. If you even if you even care enough to look up at the moon. Is that Nobody gives a shit about is, the moon. Out of all the analogies you could think of, right? That's that's how autism works. But <laughs> you rolled with it. That's what um, that's what you're proud of. On my new channel that I put like zero effort into. Absolutely zero effort. Zero. When I, we say zero, most of the effort was put into like actually pressing and D- upload. Dakota will use legitimate waiting. audio programs to make music. He'll use legitimate... We're using Logic Pro right now. $200 uh, software. Software programs to edit videos. I'll help Stop, him. Dude. It'll be a collaborative effort and we'll actually put work into editing video. Thought work. And then I Heart go and soul. on my phone and I... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, iMovie app on my phone and I just the throw, free iMovie yeah app free is free. <laughs> I throw together a minute long slideshow of just different uh, minute and a half we'll yeah give minute you and a half it's, you know it's a minute and a half of guys who look really uh, gay yeah and then I put music over it and I upload it and I get four thousand views 4, out of nowhere no it's four point seven and I didn't share it and thousand I didn't four point advertise 000, it four point seven hundred four point seven thousand yeah or four thousand four point seven thousand would it be four no, seven four Four hundred, four four thousand and seven hundred. <laughs> four thousand seven hundred. Oh, this is good. Three hundred less than five thousand. This is good. And anyways, he's uh, very hurt about that. He's upset at me. Well, yeah. When you put in a lot of work, and you've actually gotten better, and you can honestly be like, you know, I've gotten better finally. I'm not a hundred percent confident, but like I'm getting there. And I put everything into it. I get like hundred and sixty views, and then I get sixty views. And then it get twenty views, and Seth gets four thousand fucking views. And I don't share it, and I don't he didn't tell share people. It, didn't tell no one. He he literally abuses his girlfriend on camera. He abuses his pets on camera. You've abused a lot of things. Is yeah, it, and I'm give abusing. You a false sense of power. I'm or? abusing Dakota on, on my Mike. own. Uh, on, on our own. Is it my audio. podcast? It's my podcast. No, Let's it's mine. Honest. Well, I, you know, you named it Corncast, but when I share this. 
or when you share it, it'll have ten people. When I share this, it'll have eleven. Yeah, but the, the trick is, I'm not gonna share it till after you share it. It's gonna be like a cold war for shares. Like, okay, we're gonna wait. We just won't share it. We'll just put it on <laughs> just private. Never share it. Put it on private. Only for us. No, but like, no, fuck you, dude. It's because I'm too busy out there making money and like fucking bitches that you know I ain't got time to. Okay. Okay, then explain your Mr. Balloons and how you do have this fucking fame, faggot. Oh. Yeah, why don't you explain it then? Since you're so fucking okay. happy and proud of yourself. I don't know. If anyone, I don't know if anyone <laughs> listening to this, they might. A few of my Facebook uh, friends might listen to this. They probably remember back in like 2011. Oh, no. 2012. This was like last year. 13. It's when Facebook, like, Facebook pages became a thing. Yeah. Where people would just make pages for like comedy. It memes. wouldn't it wouldn't just be for like businesses or it's for memes. celebrities. It was memes. It was like Barack Obama. Yeah. Barack Obama, you had Pedo Bear, that was a big one. You had Cell. Um All his all his brethren. Yeah. All his people. And you. I made one called Mr. Balloons. Yeah. Oh. Don't ask me why. <laughs> there is a legitimate reason why, but I'm taking that to the grave because it's so cringy and it's like the gayest oh, shit dude are you gonna, can you tell me one day like i won't yo in a later not on in here. a later pod maybe i will be comfortable <laughs> enough to share well, a nice callback nice... but it got a it got a good amount of likes like six thousand, maybe at its right. peak and then i deleted it and i made another miss balloons and that got like three thousand likes keep in mind at this time i was like oh i'm gonna make a page i got like what 120 likes yeah or something. <laughs> he made one called mr cox and and it was and... clever it was thought-provoking it was a chicken with a ball sack you know, as it's giblet. Like, yeah. It was cool. I have the picture still. I have a picture of it. I'll, I'll put it up on screen probably. But a lot of people I've met and become friends with and a lot of my, like, quote-unquote fame, uh, I'm not famous. <laughs> I don't have any sort of fame. Dakota just says I'm famous because I have, like... He has a cult following. That's what it was. Following, it was yep. literally people that didn't know him writing Seth Horvath, putting it as their fucking... Didn't someone put it as their senior quote for their yearbook for the rest of their lives? As whether I think maybe someone, someone put Seth Horvath. Seth Horvath. Pe- bitches literally t- like writing Seth Horvath on their clit and like s- yeah. putting it on like. Well, you would get um fan signs. That was a big thing. Right. Girls would send you fan signs, and occasionally a guy like if you made a status saying you want fan signs, that means you want girls to send you pictures uh, with your name <laughs> written on them somehow. <laughs> Some- but sometimes a guy will do it, and it's like that's so gay. But um. <laughs> And you still put it out there. Yeah, you you, still you'd still it. post it and share it. Be like, oh look, uh, this faggot. <laughs> John, Did you ever call him out? Do you ever call out your fans? No, like, torture but them. But I'd get all the nice fan signs from girls who would write it on their hand or something. On their tits. Uh, oh, I did have for one of my my fucking Facebook pages. I would say her name. I'm probably not gonna. She won't listen to it. There's no chance she ever would. But I don't want to like through the grapevine, you know. But, like, I did actually have a bitch where me and Danny, it was when we were living together still, like, senior year, and out of nowhere, we just asked this slut that used to hang out with us, like, yo, could I, like, sign your tits just for, like, my Facebook page? You know, I'm gonna put it as, like, the fucking, uh, what is it called, the... Profile picture? Not the profile Cover picture. Photo? Yeah, the one at the top, you know, um, and she, like, let me. She literally just lifted up her shirt in front of me and Danny. She's, like, like, full on, like, ball, Yeah, tits off. and everything. Yeah, oh everything gosh. off. Full on tits just sitting there. It was downstairs, actually. Jesus. It was when I was, yeah. She, in front of me and Danny, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, we looked at each other, like, wait. It was, like, for real? Like, I didn't have to pay. I, I even offered, like, I'll give you, like, you know, five, ten bucks. Like, <laughs> and she's, like, no. And, just, and then I took a Sharpie, wrote Justin Mills on you it. Do anything else? And put, well, you not just, with Danny there, I mean. You guys I didn't bring her back had one time. a bonding and, moment. Well, no, when she was like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bros. It's when our balls bros. slap it again. <laughs> yeah. No, I did bring her back once when, when we were drunk and like, we're not going to get into that. We're not. <laughs> we're not. No, Anyways, I didn't, Dakota I didn't has an her. STD like, now. Yeah, right. I have penis puff. <laughs> puff penis. Penis puss. Yeah, I've gotten stuff like that. Like, back in those days, I got a girl. Yeah, but did you do it in person? No, not in person, but I got her See, to sign See, I was her. always more of a celebrity. I had bitches literally, like, lining up. I got her to sign her yeah, tits, you, her ass. Um, Wait, what? Where are these pictures oh, there's, No, there's a few like, girls Seth Horvath that. Seth or Mr. Balloon? Well, I had them saved, but this was, like, I don't know, how long ago? Was did you have Seth Horvath six years or, ago? or Mr. Balloons? Like, on Seth Horvath. Oh, that's even better, because, like, that's your government name. Like, And then... This was like six years ago, so I saved them for a few months, and I ended up deleting them, the yeah. photos. But yeah. Seth used to wear uh, contacts. 
Just kidding. He's always wore glasses because he's a pussy. Yeah, thanks. A stupid pussy bitch. But, yeah. Uh, Garen. Oh, dude. I, I messaged met, him and he never replied. Cause... I met Garen through Facebook pages. I met many of my Connor friends. Connor Wakefield. Connor Wakefield. Who? Oh, um, remember that one page chick with, like, schizophrenia? That, that was, like, one bitch. Was that her name? Yeah. No, no, no. It was, like, uh, Miss... It was Miss something. It was Miss something. I don't remember. Oh, fuck. Well, but there was... Alex there... was all over her after I got done, like... Oh. Uh-huh. Because I got nudes from her once, and, like... I well, felt kind of bad, because she was, like, schizophrenic or something. There was one page that me and Garen... Like, Garen had a page called, like, Sandshrew, and I was Mr. Balloons. Oh, that was... Yeah, And yeah, then there was a girl, and it was called That One Bitch, because that was, like, a trend. That wasn't... Yeah, no, that wasn't People her. would make a page called That One Dick, something, That Miss. One Guy. She was That One Bitch, and she was, like, really trashy, and eventually... How many likes did she have, like... A good amount, but she ended up, like, wrecking her page, because she just constantly posted about her and her boyfriend fighting and her drug <laughs> problem, <laughs> and then she ended up moving to Mexico, and then just, like... Never posting like at, she like well, was like she I just moved to got Mexico raped and murdered it's Mexico yeah like, I don't she's know lame. like she's why definitely you in a desert somewhere want to move to Mexico of all the places right go to Canada maybe but like Mexico dude or, like Florida but I don't because know because we, we had a good like because we had quite a few of us I'm famous now well think about it dude it was actually kind of a cool setup we had you were like you know the ringleader because you had all the likes but like me Alex. Uh, I think Jeff probably had one. He wasn't really. But we had, like, a nice group of people that, like, you know, even Garen, people we didn't know in person, like yeah. Paige. Like, we all had, like, a decent... Together, we had, you know, like, 10,000 likes. You were, yeah. like, 6,000. But, like, I had... At my peak, I had, like, 300, I mean, I think. And that was without asking you for shares. And, you know, like... And I, I made a few other pages. And I'm a guy, dude. Like, guys don't get likes and fame on the internet. Like... It's bitches. You can be the ugliest bitch. As long as you show a little bit of cleavage, you're getting followers. You're getting likes. It um, pisses me off. I'm, I'm jealous. Well, yeah. I'm chain, I made I'm a few other pages, off. and then I kind of stopped for a while. But that's where I got, like, uh... Wait, didn't you, uh, admin uh, Barack Obama when I was at, like, no. 700,000? It was a page called Bro We Are Teens Problem. It had 200,000 likes. And oh, it was dude. one of those, like, oh, yeah. uh, for... I don't know if you know the term normie. Just means like you're a regular person. You're just normal guy. It was a page for normies. <laughs> it just you just post like, like for uh, Jesus, ignore for Satan. That's like, just so fucking. And then um, that was so annoying. That shit was so stupid. Was I would it? just do autism on there. Like I took a photo of Kennedy. <laughs> we went to Burger King and I took a photo of him. And then I posted it and I said. Uh, like for Jesus, ignore for Satan, and it got over a thousand likes. And it's just him <laughs> eating a burger. And I, I don't know if Austin ever told you this, but I posted a photo of Austin. Oh God! And I said, I captioned, I said, "This is Ralph Bukaki." <laughs> oh yeah, he, I think it's... <laughs> he has autism, and please pray for him. Blah blah blah. Pray for his autism. Yeah. Cure. <laughs> pray for his autism to be cured. And then Austin was a retarded enough to comment on it oh no so, so he, he had the same what profile picture as the photo i posted oh. so people started messaging him and his name is austin on facebook but people are messaging him saying like hey ralph i'm sorry about your autism <laughs> like they're so retarded his name's austin they still call him ralph bukaki do you remember that one time uh what no. was it the, the no. fucking it was like uh someone from like pakistan or something like message me and they're like oh hello friend or whatever and i was talking about like goat fucking and they're like <laughs> yeah. oh yes i'm i'm a fan of fuck goat like so broken <laughs> english calling me friend calling me like pal like <laughs> yeah and i'm just literally like if he had a translator <laughs> he'd be depressed <laughs> i was just like talking about you know i was fucking goats and what do you he's ref- okay so seth right now he's referring to this page we wrote like uh we have three three rules yeah, um, you can uh, you can read the first two. <laughs> <laughs> the first just... rule is don't say hard R N word, please. The second rule is Dakota's small penis, please no mention. And then because no, it would be a lie. And no no lie. D. And then number three is like don't mention blank blank because Seth has beef with him for some reason. Even though no, I don't. But I just don't want to. He doesn't want drama because yeah. you know he is the kind of kid that would sit here and listen to this because he has no fucking life. Yeah. You know, I've always been loyal to you, Seth. You know, 
I've uh <laughs> I went out of my way to not talk to him when he was, like, staring me down, yeah. trying to get me to talk to him. I should have went and talked to his nasty, fat slut, a, fat slut Okay, we're a, done. What? His nasty, fat slut of a sister. I think she's almost of age. <laughs> almost. <laughs> That's just not nice. What? Why talk the to fuck people do you like care? that. Unless it's Jacob Bastion. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what is with you being a pussy? This is the... the because I just don't want. Town. I don't want problems, man. This is the corn cast. I got ninety nine problems. And a corn is one. Who said that? Jay Z, you think? Uh, no. Is it Jay Z? No. It was Eminem. Don't say that. Don't mention. I heard one of Eminem's most recent songs. Stop! And it's, don't fucking it's so gay. He sounds like he's taking like five dicks in the ass. As shut the fuck up. <laughs> like dude. he probably what was in the studio. About? He had five cocks no, shoved in his here. ass. Shut the fuck up, dude. I got a song for you. I no, gotta fucking, don't. No, I'm, I'm putting it on. I'm putting I don't it on. care. If it's rap, I don't care. What do you want to What do you want to? But listen? it was just so gay. It was so gay. Dude, I got a song for you. Got... Yeah, I'm Eminem. No, I'm political. Stop. You know that guy's a... <laughs> Did you hear about the whole, like, pedophile stuff? Yeah. No, I heard that he, like... I heard that, like... He was 18. I actually watched an interview, like, last night of him, to be honest. No, he was, like, 18, and I guess this chick was in, like, the foster care system or whatever, and he just had her in a music video, and she was, like, 14, and she, like, lied about her age or something, and all he did was, like, smack her ass. So, I mean, like, yeah, it's it's suggestive. He probably shouldn't have done it. You should probably, like, know who's in your fucking videos before, Yeah. like... Apparently, too, though, he was 18, and he only... It, it was, like, a juvenile, like... That's why he's not a registered sex offender. He, like, got it, like, expunged or something because he was, like, young. I don't understand that, but... Expunged. I don't know, I guess. It's such a funny word. Yeah, Yeah. like that one time I got my... I killed someone and I got that expunged. I got my misdemeanor expunged once. You want to hear about that? I raped somebody and I got it expunged. When I went through the system, a hard, hardcore rapper. What, because of the vodka? You want me to tell you the whole story for the pod? Okay, yeah. so... Let me tune out. Yeah. Okay, so, like, so the story is... Um, this story sucks. I know, dude. Well, it's okay. So, we're, we're from Ida, right? I'm bored. You know, Corntown, USA. There's not many parties around here, but when there's a fucking party around here, best believe that everyone knows about it, and I might show up, right? Yeah, well, there's makes a, a guest appearance. Right. They pay me. They usually have to pay me. Um, No, so, like, there was a fucking party Saturday night, right? So I showed up. It was fun. It was cool. It was with, you know, I felt kind of out of place because they were all, like, seniors. And I had already graduated two years, <laughs> you know, before yeah. them. I so felt kind of out of place. You're trying to get that 13-year-old milky. No. No. Fuck off. And there was a few people that showed up that graduated before us, even. And I, like... Okay. But anyway, so it all went well. It's a fun fucking time, you know. It's, like, 50 people packed in, like, a little fucking place in Ida, you know. It was pretty cool. Right? Well, then he decides round two the next night. So it's just like a Sunday night. It's like a school night. Like, and it's Ida for one. So like a bunch of fucking kids screaming. Literally uh, revving their big ass trucks. Throwing bottles at fucking houses and shit. Like, it's dumb. Just dumb shit in the middle yeah. of Ida. Obviously, not everything's gonna go well. So like, I stay most of the night. Actually, almost till the end. Where like, everyone's clearing out. Actually, Max... Max hit someone's car. I remember that. He hit someone's fucking car as he left. He's like, don't tell him, dude. Just fucking booked it. Just left. Anyway. <laughs> now he just ruined his life. <laughs> no, it was the funniest shit, dude. Because he just fucking hits. I don't even know how he did it. Like, he, he had a straight line he had to go in. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Okay, finish the story. Shut the fuck up! I have an intermission soon! You gotta, you gotta piss again? You got babies? No, I just wanted to you relax, fucking pussy. Dude. Collect anyway. my thoughts. Collect your thoughts. So, no, I, I wait till, like, there was, like, eight of us at the end of the night. Everyone else had left. It was, like, fucking 4.30 in the morning, 5 o'clock. Like, it was early, and we're still rowdy. Well, the person who had the party and someone who's not from around here, like, kind of got into it. I don't really know the context, nor do I really care. But at some point, words were ex- exchanged, and, like, they were, like, about the fight, and actually they did spar for a second. Like they would spar. I didn't want to. I don't want to say it's a fight because they just like threw a few punches and then that was it. It was like boring. Size each other up. Anyway, um, 
someone pulled out a certain something that I don't want around myself personally, alcohol and this don't mix. So like when they pulled it out, I'm like, all right, well, I'm leaving now. And my buddy Danny lives across the street. He might be on a later pod eventually. D Rose, shout out to Danny Rose. Um, his mom and dad are brother and sister. Anyway, his eyes. So, <laughs> so I walked across the street. Well, as I'm walking across the street, they're all still fighting, right? There's like six of them, and um, like it's the middle of the night. They're we're right next to the street. We're on the sidewalk basically. But I walk across the street with my book bag, and as I walk across the street, the sheriff, because it was like the SUV, it said sheriff, whatever, of Mineral County, is driving. So like. I hurry up and just like fast walk around into the shadows around like the apartment building, go up to Danny's apartment and chill. And they, I heard them all like, they said like cop and they all fucking booked it, which is already suspicious enough. Like why are these kids out at fucking five o'clock in the morning? And then they all book it and I'm walking across the street with a fucking backpack. Well, as much as Danny will not admit to the story because he's, uh, you know, engaged now and his, his wife will fucking kill him. He was talking to a bitch on the phone. Or, like, FaceTime. Oh. Yeah, oh. right. He'll never admit to this. I don't care. He was talking to a bitch on the phone, and I was sitting there, like, still half drunk. And after 10, 15 minutes of, like, dude, like, can we hang out? Can we, like, fucking... He was just, like, being one of those bros that's, like, talking to a chick. Trying I'm, like, to get Fuck pussy, this, dude. dude. Yeah, trying to get pussy. So, like, I said, fuck it, dude. I'm going to go home. Like, it's be late. bros before hoes. Right. Come I'm going to go man. home. I'm going to fucking take a nap and wake up sober. I'm cool. It, you know, it's walking distance from my house. I don't want to drink and drive. I want to walk home. Well, apparently, across the street from where we were partying, there's a fucking, uh, there's a parking lot. Well, as I was walking home, the cop decided to stay there and wait for all those kids, right? To see if they'd come back and try to, what the fuck are you guys doing? Well, since I was walking, and it was like still winter time. It was like 20 degrees out, windy, cold. I'm drunk, tired, want to go home. I'm walking pretty fast, you know, fast walking, not running. And I have a backpack. It's 5 in the morning, and he just flicks on his lights. I'm like, uh. Well, I was so fucking drunk, so I didn't really care. You sucked his cock. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Is that how it goes? You're so drunk, you just sucked his cock. I I sucked his fucking dick. Yeah, I sucked his fucking dick. No, so he like pulls up. I'm gonna have to blocking you. blocking you the whole road with his lights on. Like you made me come, like a crime scene. <laughs> and uh, you know, he's just like, you know, Never what's in the bag or whatever. Ask me what's in the bag. Uh, Ask for my ID. And like when I went to reach in my, I had everything in my book bag, so I went to go get my like wallet out. And I think he saw the bottles. Plus, I was like yeah. reeking of alcohol. You like you bent over you something out of your book bag. And he you had me sucking his cock. He made me put my book bag up. <laughs> just on can't his. resist. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude! I don't I'm even trying to make tell this story, story funny. Is, is just, this story not that good? It was just is like really eight not minutes of you talking about Danny. Okay, I'm done. Anyway, long story short, he sucked I ended Danny's up in the back of the cop car. And Since I was 19 at the time, I blew so high on the the Richter oh, you scale. Blew, you blew so hard. You've never been. <laughs> Have you ever fucking had a breathalyzer done, you fucker? Right, you had to just, blow. You were just blowing. Anyway, I blew so high that, like, they would have had to take me to go get my stomach pumped. But luckily, since my mommy was home, they dropped me off to my mommy's since I was 19 and I'm underage. Okay. And I ended up just going to court. I had to, uh, three months of probation, just don't get in trouble. I had to take an online, actually, I have the um, diploma, like, the certificate framed. I had to take an online, like, uh, drug abuse and, like, alcohol abuse and rape. Somehow rape got into it. I swear to God, dude. because yeah, you sucked his cock oh and he didn't God. want you to. Long story short, dude. <laughs> he just... The moral of the story is drink and drive, kids, because that time I would have got away with it. But instead I wanted to walk home and no one else got in trouble, which is fine. Like, you know, I'm not going to fucking rat out anybody. But, like, the point is... A little it, unfair. Right, it's what? a little unfair that you got in trouble. Yeah, I mean, well, I yeah. Over everybody else. And the point is, like, how many fucking people that night drove home drunk, you know? And I literally wanted to walk home, and he he got me for public intox and uh, MIP minor in possession, because I had the bottles on me, which is stupid. I mean, I should have just thrown the bottles away, but it was still gonna be public intox because I was drunk and a minor, yeah. you know. But. Yeah, the moral of the story is, like, uh, drink and drive, kids, because obviously a cop would rather you drink and drive than walk home drunk. Well, the moral of the story is, Dakota doesn't tell stories anymore. 
Am I, is it, was it really that bad? <laughs> no, I think you just should have went in more detail about how you sucked off. Like, Dude! <laughs> his cock was fucking fat, crusty. <laughs> it tasted well, like donut. It was a TP. Filling. No, it was a it was TP. A... <laughs> Tiny pecker. Yeah, should we talk about TP? Oh my allowed? god. When we get back. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a quick intermission. Seth is going to go uh, clean out his pussy. And I'm going to text uh, his girlfriend. We'll be right All back. Right. We'll be right back. Do you remember the fable about the scorpion and the frog? The scorpion wants to cross a stream, but he can't swim. He sees a frog and asks the frog to carry him across on the frog's back. The frog says, no, I don't trust you. I've heard about how treacherous scorpions are. I'm afraid that if I let you get on my back, you'll sting me. The scorpion replies, why should I do that? That wouldn't be in my interest. If I sting you, then we'll both drown. So the frog agrees to let the scorpion get on his back and begins swimming across the stream. Halfway across, the scorpion stings the frog. As the frog is dying and beginning to sink, he asks, Why did you do that? Now we'll both die. The scorpion answers, I couldn't help myself. It is in my nature to sting. And it is in the nature of the Jews to deceive and to destroy. That is what they always have done from the days of ancient Egypt to the present. All right, we're, yeah, we're back. We're back. Dakota, uh, Seth just made a funny joke. Yeah, Dakota's mom what just was it? sucked my cock <laughs> yeah, in the funny. intermission. Yeah, I came like five times. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're off to a strong start. <laughs> Strong start. <laughs> or strong. Is that what I said? <laughs> I don't know. Did I say strong probably story? not. I probably just. Yeah, you probably you can't hear. You can't talk. He says token. This this is the kid that says token. He says token. He's like, token three starring Liam Neeson. Who's Liam Neeson? Oh, okay. No, who is it? It's you know the movie Taken. That's is that actor. his name? The guy who's like, the meme yeah. phone call. Yeah. yeah Liam like, Neeson. And he, you know, he fucking for some reason can't watch his daughter because like every every fucking year she just gets abducted raped murdered well dakota promised me he'd buy me pizza so oh yeah we're gonna talk about tp right? oh yeah tp <laughs> i say tp and then tp we're done shut the fuck up no we have another fucking 15 minutes shut the fuck yeah up. that's it'll Stop take like 15 minutes so to really dive into tp and okay so tp stands for tiny pecker doesn't stand for toilet paper um, what what year were we? Like, what year was it? It was, it was gym like, class, but like, was it eighth grade? Or, no, it was high school. Cause it was ninth. Grade. I think it was, it was weird. Yeah, Crary's. freshman year. Crary's. Yeah, because he had a candle. Yep. We can drop his name, right? Yeah. You care? Yeah. You drop his fucking name. I punched him. Yeah. Oh my god, that brings another story up. All right, all right, all right. So quick, quick story um, about this kid named Todd Boudry. Fat fuck. I was gonna say a portly fellow. A was fat fuck. I was going to be nice. And be like, he was Why like, are you such a pussy? <laughs> it's a fucking podcast. We're not meant to be fucking... We we even put a disclaimer at the beginning. Oh, yeah. This is satire. So he's a fat... Is, right. He's a fat right. boy. We're playing characters. He's I'm about, the asshole and you're the pussy. He's about my height, so he's like six foot. <laughs> six foot. No. Yeah, right. He's, he's about my, my he's height, like, so he's like five five. Right. Like, if I could... If, if he was on his knees, he'd be sucking Turn your my, fucking phone oh, off! Yeah, yeah, that's... That's Leah. Hey. hey. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, anyway. Disrespect. It's your girl. I don't know why she's hitting me up. <laughs> I mean, I do know why. Oh, <laughs> wink, okay. wink. It's sucking me off. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So <laughs> That's really good. You like that for the podcast? Yeah. That's funny. So, anyway, uh, gym class, it was like a bunch of the douchebag. Like, me and Seth, we didn't take showers and stuff, right? Like, why would we? Honestly, yeah. thinking about it, that's fucking gay. We didn't do as much physical activity as those, uh... Prime alphas. Yeah, the prime, prime alpha males did. So we didn't <laughs> really have to shower, either. Right, you just put on some Axe, put yeah. on deodorant. Take an Axe bath. I just put pussy wash on me, you know? Pussy wash? It's wash made of pussy juice. Oh, okay. 
Because I was so alpha, but I was like on Omega. I was going to say after gym class, I... Uh, but they would all shower together, right? Wipe each other down. I was going to make it your mom <laughs> joke somehow about how, yeah. how I would somehow shower in your Yeah, mom's your mom vagina. would wipe down my loads, right. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, they would all shower together, right? And I think, what, Todd was done showering or something, and he just had a towel around, and it, like, he either tripped and it fell, or like someone just no, pulled it off. No, I think he off. flashed it. I think he purposely <laughs> flashed. That's he that's why people made it. fun of him. And, and, yeah, and everyone Because he did it on purpose. Like, he opened himself up. <laughs> and he did, because there's another story. In fourth or fifth grade, when we, went, we, when we went to camp. So he was like a little deviant. When we went to <laughs> camp, fourth grade, he yeah. flashed us. I actually didn't go to camp showering. because I used to piss the bed, and I was afraid to, like... Okay. I'm not going to make fun of you for that, because that's a legitimate thing. Yeah, but, so, like, me and Kennedy Winter, we stayed back, and we built bridges for three days every day at school. We built bridges. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'll tell you about that later. It's stupid. Anyway, so, yeah, so everyone started calling him Tiny Pecker. Oh, God. So Tiny this Pecker. Is, this is Todd. Yeah, like, left Todd Boudry. Todd Boudry, everybody. Todd Boudry with the Tiny Pecker. Yeah, we we'll, we'll touch up more on him in a different podcast about, you know, how we got him, like... How I got him. Yeah. How you got him expelled. Yeah. God, I was a pussy in high school. And anyway, and you knocked his ass yeah, out. Yeah, I'll tell that. But anyway, so everyone called him Tiny Pecker. We also made fun of him because he wear like, not wears, uh, he read, like, a Kindle. Like, yeah. everyone would have an iPad or, like, a fucking Android tablet. No, nobody had he'd nothing. Like, he'd, no. That yeah, was I had before. an iPod. Or, those you got a tablet, like, sophomore year. I had an he, iPad. Steve had, come on, Steve had fucking that, that was five like soft- iPads. Sophomore, junior year. He had a Kindle, anyway, and he was so fucking proud of his Kindle. And he would try to read all the books we read in English class on the Kindle. Like, he mm. wouldn't want to get carry around the physical copy of the books. And he made it, like, a, a parent. Like, that he could have just kept in his locker, didn't even have to take home. Right. So it's not, like, an extra load on his fat back. <laughs> well, you gotta figure. Each tit's 20 pounds, so. Yeah. <laughs> a Kindle. A Kindle's, like, half a pound or quarter of a pound. <laughs> You have, yeah, you have a few books, it's... you know, you're really going to be <laughs> sweating to get to the bus. <laughs> and if you're sweating too much, then your stepdad might fucking abuse you sexually. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, boy, looking. <laughs> you're listening. looking awfully plump. <laughs> you go, like, my, my plump penis and all the way your tight poon. Your man tits. I want to pulverize your pussy. <laughs> your man pussy. Stop. Because <laughs> he's so fucking uh, Actually, fat. it's called a boy pussy. <laughs> it's called a little boy pussy. <laughs> Stop. Oh, <laughs> don't say the word little in front of that. <laughs> little L-I-D-D-L-E. I need to go to church. <laughs> little. Goodbye. Didn't we say that after we almost died? <laughs> anyway, so then, um, wait, was that it? Yeah, he, he just he just called a tiny pecker. He made yeah. fun of his Kindle. Call him, he's a fat fucking Everyone called him TP. <laughs> and in English class, uh, once again, Will... From the previous story about Will <laughs> harassing Dakota, he would harass Todd, and he'd always go Kindle, Kindle, Kindle? <laughs> and just say TP Kindle. <laughs> until to the, the one point day, where you like wasn't he like Todd like got up to like fight him, and then Crary was like, "Go to the office, go to the like, fight. like," and she got mad at Todd for getting bullied. <laughs> yeah. Like Todd got bullied, and he was gonna stand up to the bully. Shoot the school, up. and then he gets in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> like they tell you stand up to your bullies and then he does and he gets in fucking trouble <laughs> in the fucking prison and uh, and the teacher is, looks at him like he's a freak like why are you standing up you pussy and it was the <laughs> hottest TP. the hottest milkiest teacher too oh at the god time. i would suck like her like tits. i would i would eat the peanuts <laughs> not out anymore of her shit. i wouldn't suck her tits <laughs> like, anymore. I, would, I would wait i would wait pull the corn out of her shit and uh use it for, oh. for the, the corn cast logo oh yeah because that's the name, right? I, I am going to reiterate, <laughs> I wouldn't do anything yeah. with Mrs. Crary anymore. Because he, he's married. Yeah. So. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Don't <laughs> bust my balls. <laughs> yeah, you are just demasculated, right? Yeah. Yeah, you are a pussy. You're whipped. You're a pussy bitch. I'm cuckolded. She is hitting me up. She does hit me up now. I'm a cuckold. Yeah. I'm everything, dude. Yeah, you are I'm, a pussy. I'm broke. We got this... Um, this CAD U37 microphone, condenser microphone that we're using. If you want to ever no replicate a, a corncast, uh, fuck you! No one cares. Um, The two people that listen to this, no one cares. We're already listening right now, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're outside the window. Like, <laughs> right, they're fucking... They have one of those they cans. They have paid tickets. They're our Patreons. They have like, two cans with a string. Oh they my threw god, it. does that actually work? I heard that doesn't actually work. No, how could it work? I don't know, I... You know, like those playgrounds that have like those micro, like the megaphones. Yeah. Across the why does that work? Those are tubes. 
They have tubes. So why doesn't a string? Because a string is a string. It's not... It's hollow, if you think about it. Like, And it's not like an electrical if you go on the mon- wire. If you go on the, the well, molecular r- level... R- riddle it's... me this. How, how... <laughs> riddle me this. How do I talk on a phone that's not even connected to anything, and how does somebody else hear it? Oh, f- like really? How does that work? Like, isn't that crazy? How does like sound go well, you through can't a use wire? A, but you can't use a string. Yeah, you, but can't, you can't use, use a, string. a string, but you can use nothing like photons. Yeah. But it's like is it photon. No, photons are light, but it somehow works. Well, no, because that's the same as like how does this capture onto the? Yeah, this shit's magic, dude. It is like if we we're five hundred years ago and we did this, you know. Okay, so okay, here's a question, dude. Here's a question, bro. Here's a bro. Here's a bro question. So like. If you could go back in time, right, and you only bring one device, right, okay, you only bring one device, anything you want, but you can't, you can only use it at full charge, because obviously they don't have fucking pores back then, so you can't, like, recharge it. What would you bring, and what would you use it for, for the time you got, like, whatever the battery life is? I'd use a gun. <laughs> That's my device. And just take over the world, because back then they're throwing, but like, it would rocks have, It would you. have a flashlight it's attachment, so technically, it's... It's multiple things. And you can always call no one because it's fucking back in time. And yeah, like why would you use a phone? You don't have you don't have no, Wi-Fi. No, I would bring something. You like, don't have porn. Like you can just I, go rape a fucking kid. It's back then. Like you if can do I whatever to, you want. If I, to bring an actual, thing. you can light a fire. Why do you need a flashlight? You retard. I would bring like a like a knife. No, like a really <laughs> bright light. Why? And then in the middle of the night, I would just turn it on like a super bright flashlight yeah. that could like blind people and people well you could always be like i am your god and then fucking show up with, like a yeah. big light and then you have you could be the like city you could just tell people like i can make light out of nowhere and they'd be like no way and then you'd wait till it's night and then you just turn off although flashlight. you gotta think though like and they would back then obviously cry. you know if you don't go to like china where it's like you're fucked but like if you go to like europe where you can still speak it would still be like broken english i feel like because, like, so much of shit has changed, you yeah, know? Yeah, it would still be... Like, like, if you went to England, it would be Old English, and you wouldn't know what the hell they're talking about. Because they used about. to say, like, knight, knee. Like, they actually used to pronounce the Ks in those silent K words that we use. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dude, this podcast, it's going to be literally, like, fucking it's a half his- autism, half woke a history. enlightenment. Don't say woke. What, woke? That's a stupid Get woke, word. dude. Get woke. That's a word ends Get waked use. up, bro. What'd you just say? <laughs> What did you just say? <laughs> and it's this is stupid, satire, dude. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is satire. No, if you say woke, and you're what like, "What the fuck did you just say, Seth?" That... Dude, I'm woke. Kill yourself. Damn. What the fuck? And, like, just say like I'm enlightened. Like, I'm... Or, like, I know something, or like I I'm researching something. Well, you don't, I don't have know. To say, like, why don't do you say you're to... woke? That's so. Yeah, but does, does like... Einstein ever? Did he ever say like, "Dude, I'm smart"? Like, no. no. People that are intelligent don't he have to say his it. cousin. Well, <laughs> what about Elon Musk? Does he ever say, hey, I'm woke? No, he's like, I'm going to send a fucking car to space. Yeah. If, you know, like, he doesn't have to prove the same. The same people who say they're woke are the same people who are like, you know. Not woke. You know, they're Ty, fucking retarded. Ty Lopez. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I'm, I'm laying in my fucking garage. And you know what I like more than this pussy? This pussy on the, the rim of my Lamborghini? No, but you know. These books. Thing. I like knowledge. Yeah. Knowledge. Knowledge. Like, no, shut the fuck I up, like faggot. I like knowledge. I read like knowledge a, a book a day for knowledge. And for his no- knowledge. <laughs> his method of getting knowledge, knowledge from books is he skims it. He reads like the first page and last page and skims the middle. And he's shut like, up. I read a book. Did he really? Does that's he, how he. How do you know? That's how he reads a book a day. Cause that's his method. Oh, I remember you were telling me right how he like and, rents the fucking house and shit. And yeah, it's all fake what he does, but he's woke because he has so much knowledge. And there's, knowledge. There's some, <laughs> I'll try to find it and show you, but there was some girl on Instagram yeah. I found. Right. And she was she like, hot? no, she okay. was really disgusting. Oh, she's the a, one that, uh, I remember, I think you remember, uh, did you tell me about her? No, before? I've never. No? She's Not that like, one? Okay. she's a woke, um, <laughs> she's one of the women who are like woke about their sexuality. So she what always just so like a hippie, like like I can fuck I control my vagina. And Men just, do not. Control you want an excuse me. to be a massive slut? Yeah, except she's not because she's ugly. So she probably just masturbates. I all the control time. my vagina. I I choose to be ugly and not get. She probably dick has ever. like twenty dildos, 
and she's ugly, and then she posts on her. Do uh, you think any of her dildos are red? But the thing red, is, slimy. She's like Ty Lopez because <laughs> she posts constantly about her business on her Instagram. What she, wait, wait, how many followers does she have though? Like not a lot, but she's like self promotes herself as like I can offer sexual advice. You want to know like, like like she's like a sex therapist guru, like a sex guru. Yeah, but she's not anything, and she just, she's never had sex. She markets herself as like. Ty Lopez, well, like an economic genius, when he's just he just scams know, like, people. No, he actually has money, even though he yeah, probably but he just it. scams. But no, people. you know how much money he has spent for like advertising on YouTube and like Facebook. Probably a lot. Hundreds of millions, literally like hundreds of millions. And he scams minorities too, because he's like Hispanic. It so might he, be like fifty million, but it's so, still a lot. So like, he'll like appeal to like what? Hispanic and black people. Wait, what? Because he like scams minorities. Okay, Elon Is this a Musk. Scandal? Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg. He's from South Africa. Donald Trump. They're Elon all, Musk isn't bad. They're all white guys. So, like, Trump your, isn't bad. your average, like, Mexican... Mark Zuckerberg's um, a faggot. Your average Mexican kid mm. looking at these billionaires would be like, I don't give a fuck. They're white. They're white guys. Right. But white, you have Ty Lopez, right. who looks pretty suave and cool, and he's talking about... Is he Mexican? Or, like, Latino? He's probably, like... Is he? He doesn't look, I mean, full He's probably, white. like, slight slightly hispanic but he plays that up and he, <laughs> and he, he hangs out with like Shut the fuck basketball up, stars or whatever he hangs out with people black people like and then he always he posts so you're saying he's scamming like his, his uh he's being fake yeah he's not woke he's an asshole yeah he just scams people so what happens if he hears this right i hope he kills himself if he hears Ty this. lopez i hope you fucking kill yourself but first, give me our all Patreons get your to choose money. how you do it. Yeah, give us all your money, and then, then we yourself. won't need Patreons. But we get to choose. We'll run a poll, right? And we'll put on Patreons. Patreon, patrons, yeah. It'd be patrons. patrons. Yeah. Shut up, you fucking token. I miss token. Yeah, yeah, but we don't even have a Patreon. Done. Done. And I don't think we'd ever get to the point where we need a honestly, Patreon. Honestly, though, like yeah, because if because honestly, we could just get sent free shit. Like, who wants to give PO us box? money for this? This is horrible content. This isn't bad. I mean, this is like no. <laughs> How is this bad? This is funny. I like this. I'm having fun. All right, you know, I'm having a good time. I um, think that's it. So the come uh, you're gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the come town podcast. Yeah, we've been. This is is this what inspired us? Is yeah, that what inspired come us? town podcast. Well, I've been listening corn. to podcasts for a bit, like Joe Rogan, the Corn Cast, um, other shit. And I like that. The- and then the I found com- Come Town, and I showed Dakota Come Town, and then we were like, "Hey, we should do Dude, a podcast." Think about it. A fucking mic looks like a corn cob. Oh yeah. my god, that could be like a legit emblem. Like our legit logo is like a, a mic with like with like leaves on it, like R- a corn. Right now, in front of the million people listening to this currently live. Yep. Are you gonna not be a pussy and work out or no? What later? Yeah. Seth like wants right me. After okay, this. so Seth wants me to work out like right after this. But I have a date with Leah. And oh yeah. Well, <laughs> Lee is my girlfriend. That's the joke that he has sex with my girlfriend. <laughs> but I also can't ruin it. I've Don't had ruin sex it. with his uh, mom and every okay, well, everybody in his life. <laughs> Everyone that comes into my yeah, life. Everybody. Only- <laughs> every person you see on the street, I have sex with just in case. <laughs> just Man, in case woman, child, <laughs> dog. animal. Yeah, dog. Burn. Street post, like street lamp, start stop sign. Everything. You're just a deviant. Like is. everything, you need just get... in case. So anyone you talk to and try to just like, know that you've already yeah fucking I've, I've came in. Them. You've already camed in them, camed. So any new friend you make or <laughs> any possible Seth has already been inside yeah, them. I've been in with them. a flaccid phallus. <laughs> yeah, I flaccid every single time, but I still come. Okay, um, so that's a <laughs> corn cast. I'm proud of us. This is gonna be the raunchiest. Fuck Come Town, dude. We're better. No. Okay. Well, what There's... if we got a beef with them? Then we take half their followers. Don't fucking drop that, <laughs> ass, you retard. So anyway, yes. Yeah, so this is the stop. <laughs> this is the corn count, corn, corn cast episode one. Um, every Thursday, I think it'll probably be uploaded. What Fridays then? Because I don't feel like yeah. working on it. Maybe I don't fucking know. Well, We're just gonna kind of wing it as one, we go. Well, there's only one part we need to just edit. Yeah, Ben Mc being a fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this part. <laughs> yeah, Ben Mc. Why? Why are you fucking sucking his suckling his tits? Anyway, we're gonna discuss that. Yeah, because Seth is a pussy. He's become you know <laughs> a liberal pussy cunt. <laughs> Stop! All right, this is it. We're done. Uh, episode one. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Uh, start a Patreon.
Um, for us. Do you <laughs> so have anything you want to Patreon, yeah. get donations for us. In our name. Like, yeah. don't give us the money. Just say it's like... We, we get 15%. Of what you make <laughs> we, for us, <laughs> we get one percent. We we pay you. Actually, we we are your Patreon pay, tra- patrons. Yeah, we'd pay. We pay you to run our Patreon, and you keep the profits from the Patreon. Yeah, makes sense, right? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, tune in next week to see if Seth uh, stops wearing his glasses or not. All right. Bye. Bye.